In this example, we will be evaluating the square root of 676. 676 is an example of a perfect square. A perfect square is a value that if you take the square root of that perfect square, your result will be a whole number. To find the whole number that is the square root of 676, let's use a math rule. The square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b, meaning that if you have two numbers multiplied by each other inside of a square root, you can separate them out into their own individual square roots multiplied by each other. Now let's do this with 676 by splitting it up into 4 and 169. The square root of 676 is therefore equal to the square root of 4 times 169. Using our math rule, we can then simplify this to the square root of 4 times the square root of 169. The square root of 4 is equal to 2 because 4 is equal to 2 squared. The square root of 169 is equal to 13 because 169 is equal to 13 squared. So we can rewrite the square root of 4 as 2 and we can rewrite the square root of 169 as 13. Therefore, our answer is 2 times 13, which we can simplify to 26. So the square root of 676 is equal to 26.